We're surrounded by different smells every day, some we like and some we don't. These investigators are sniffing manufactured smells. Oh, quite nice, is that? But what makes something smelly? And what has it got to do with gases? Oh, that reeks. <laughs> Imagine you can see what's happening to the particles. Smelly substances release some of their particles into the air as a gas. Particles are escaping from this liquid. As they diffuse through the air, some reach his nose. Messages are sent to the brain which trigger a smell response. <laughs> so, for something to be smelly, some of its particles must have enough energy to become gaseous and get up your nose. If you smell dead fish, there must be dead fish particles up your <sighs> nose. Yuck! This body spray is designed to be smelly. Give it a squirt and a fine spray of liquid is released but it quickly changes into a gas. To find out how quickly these body spray particles mix with the air and spread out, we have a team of smell detectives equipped with blindfolds so they can't see what's happening and white flags to lift when the smell hits them. Standing at varying distances from the source, they're ready to do some serious sniffing. How long will it take for this smell to diffuse through the air and reach the back row? The gas particles reach the first row after just a few seconds, but it takes quite a while for the second row to react. The smell is obviously taking longer to reach them. Why does it take so long for the particles to travel long distances? What's stopping the body spray particles from reaching the second row for so long? 